What's happening family? Let's talk about a few things here. We're gonna do troubleshooting common AT&T router problems. Yep, we're talking about that red light again. What happened this time? We're gonna start off with the basics. Is it powered on? Yes, of course. Is the fiber line plugged into the back of the gateway? Yep, sure is. All right, cool. Now we're gonna look at this here. Echo shed off. Okay, I've got this light on. All right, I have a little FVD right here and check this out. Boom, wait, hold on, the TV's still on. Boom, all right. You see how I start squeezing the fiber line and it starts to get brighter and brighter right there? Well, the signal's coming out of here. This can be an indication that you have buffering inside the house, okay? because that light has to come out of here now it's not going to be the exact same thing that i'm flashing here in my little hands with this because this is a different signal okay so this is just a fiber line foreign um foreign um fault visual locator fvd fvl whatever it's a visual locator fault visual locator fld it, you just type it on amazon fiber signal and you can see if it's broken but you shouldn't need to do that because AT&T will work for it will work it out for you now it starts to lose a signal and with AT&T's frequencies or a fiber line it has to be as straight as possible if there is a coil if there happens to be a coil no tighter okay and I mean tighter like smaller than this here no smaller than a coke can so if the AT&T technician left it nice and cold for you and for some reason uh, the cat and dog were playing and it pulled it really, really tight, okay? Like it's got a super, super tight. Go back out there, stretch it out, make sure it's nice and neat, get another coil on it, make it nice and pretty, and then you should be back in business. Now, if that didn't fix your red light issue, then you're going to... Do your, do your homework, all right? Go outside. It's like, you know what? I was digging right next to the power meter because my wife or I wanted some plants because it's kind of barren and it's disgustingly ugly. And I was hitting it with a shovel, cleaning it up, putting some new dirt on it. And all of a sudden the kids came out or I went inside or my Pandora stopped listening or Spotify on my phone because my Wi-Fi is turned off. At that point in time, you cut your cable. There's nothing that's gonna happen. Call it to it at 2020 and say, hey buddy, I'm so sorry. I cut my cable, send a tech. They're probably gonna ask you to do a bunch of stupid questions, stupid tests that's not gonna work. Can you press the red button? Okay, red button didn't work. Okay, let's go ahead and unplug this and plug this back in. Nope, still I can't see the signal. Let's power it off, power it back on. Sorry, still can't see the signal. I already told you, I cut the cable. Please send me a technician, perfectly fine. Now, you might get billed for that because you cut the cable, because outside of this here, there should be a little sticker that says, call 811 before you dig. That could be digging with your hands. You shouldn't be able to break it with your hands, not if you squeeze it tightly. But if you're using a shovel, you'll probably hit it pretty bad, all right? So let's skip that. Let's say you didn't do that. You had a pretty big storm and you do have telephone poles and your line comes into the house okay so you got this long line like this and it's no longer up there because that branch hit the floor yeah your internet is not going to work okay now let's look at another thing let's say you are a buried plant system okay and your neighbor was mowing the yard and he's got one of those cool zero turns and he happened to drive over a little green little thing about the size of this table here. He was talking about, yeah, man, my thing flipped over. I don't know what's going on. He spun out. Well, guess what happened? His rear tires got into that junction box that's in there, probably shredded into pieces. No one else got out of service because yours was super, super tight. For some reason, yours got hit, got damaged out. But if everyone's out of service, and uh, it's either 4, 8, 16, I think the guys say that there's even up to 20 uh, plugs in one of those things, um, I could probably take out an entire neighborhood. So that is another indication. 
Um, you're, you shouldn't have to look for all that stuff, but I'm just trying to help you out with Telltale Science. All right, uh, video is about five minutes long right now, and I've done nothing but jibber jabber. But those are your basic troubleshooting things from AT&T. Um, you can pick one of these up on Amazon. It's not gonna look like this one entirely. Uh, it's belongs to a friend of mine, but um, you can do some troubleshooting for your own and just do your homework. Make sure your fiber lines are clean. Uh, that's just a basic, common uh, troubleshooting guy with AT&T. Turn on. I hope that helped out, guys. Thank you very much for coming to this channel. And I enjoy speaking to you about at and and I hope that I will continue to do this uh, for y'all. And I hope it helps out with connecting with the at and I know they're coming out with a new gateway. I think it's called a 620. It's supposed to have like Wi-Fi 7 and two, five, or two 10 gig ports and a five gig port and then a one gig port. Um, some of my friends are excited about it, um, but it's in trial services only um not available everywhere of course you can't be on a, on a phone line system and like hey i want fiber here now it's not gonna happen it has to be ran to your home already but uh, other than that thank you guys for being on my channel it's a blessing to see you guys here we'll see you next time